Two of our very own reporters at KTIV were set to star in the Sioux City Parade today. We're pretty sure that we will lose our jobs over this. But instead, they spent the day trying to dig themselves out of a hole. It's in there pretty good. As you can see, it's a jungle out here. But the driver says it's because of these weeds that his Jeep is now in this condition. We were driving in, we were trying to park here. We, we saw the weeds. If I could just... This, these, there was a bunch of these weeds in front of, they were covering up the hole and what we tried to do was drive, we tried to drive up here, we saw that there was a lot of space back there and now we realize why the, that's, not so, that's not as popular as a parking spot because we found, we, after we tried to drive over there we got stopped here and we found out that underneath these weeds there was a big hole and now our car's in it. However, the passenger had a different story. I never thought something like this could happen in this community. There was a little boy and we tried to get out of the way. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, take your time. And uh, we swerved and the next thing I knew we'd fallen in this huge hole. We, the little boy was saved, much of the credit of the driver, John Foss. I just want to make it clear that the, dri the driver was John Foss, but the little boy is safe and that's all that matters. I mean, it just is really scary. It's okay. How deep is this hole? The hole could be anywhere from four to six feet. Six to seven feet. He, had, he was wearing a hula skirt and he was flinging bings. Just, just, I mean, he just running across the street, flinging bings, and we didn't know what to do. You know, if it if it hadn't been us, I'm sure this would have been somebody else, or, you know, we could have been hit by a bing. Can you tell me, as far as your vehicle now being in the position that it's in, what are you guys going to do? Well, at this point, I we've got a team of of midgets coming to wedge themselves under the front right axle, and they're going to lift it up. And so, hopefully, if that doesn't work, we have a tow truck coming too. But it just, I don't know what the world's coming to. What we're gonna do is wait here and we're just gonna see if anybody comes along that has any better ideas. We're taking ideas right now. We've gotten a few of them already and now we're just trying to, we're just waiting to see if anyone, we're just waiting to see if anyone else has them. Have you set up a suggestion box perhaps? Well, if, if anyone has suggestions, we don't, you don't need to put them in the box. You can just tell us. Any estimate about how long it's gonna take before you get your car out of here? We're just hoping that um, we can get it back here soon. I've been, it's been a long day and I'm hungry. So we're just wait, we're just hoping that it's soon. Okay, that's all I have. In Sioux City, Trisha King, KTIV News Channel 4. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. So who was driving?